If you are keeping cherishims, at some point the females will get pregnant. At that time, you will need to know how to take care of the pregnant cherishims and ensure successful breeding. After hours of research, I have found all the information you need to know and compiled them in this video. Pregnant cherishims, first of all, need a stress-free environment for successful breeding. They also require proper water parameters, clean water, lots of algae and high quality food. First I am going to talk about the feeding. Normally cherishims can live on algae and biofilm that is naturally developed in the aquarium. Shrimps also need commercial shrimp food for acquiring all the required minerals and vitamins. Cherishims also do enjoy blanched vegetables from time to time. But when your cherishims get pregnant, they will require much more high quality food. I have seen pregnant shrimps do better with a protein rich diet. Algae and biofilm naturally grow in every tank, so you won't need to spend any money on this. In most cases, the cherishims will live on these two food sources, meaning algae and biofilm are the staple food in cherishims diet. One thing to be noted, not all kinds of algae fall into the diet of cherishims. They don't like hard, stringy or hair algae. Also, spot algae don't interest cherishims. Like regular shrimps, the pregnant cherishims should also graze on algae and biofilm most of the time throughout the day. But in addition, they also require some extra love which you can provide through a proper commercial shrimp food. Many people don't want to invest in a commercial shrimp food. Though shrimps are well off with algae and biofilm, they do need some extra minerals and vitamins which you can provide only through a proper shrimp food. Many hobbyists offer fish pellets to the shrimps. I will not recommend this as fish pellets don't contain the necessary nutrients required for a cherry shrimp. I know a decent shrimp food can cost a bit of money but the trade off you will get is amazing. A good shrimp food will ensure your shrimps are having all the nutrients they deserve to grow properly. It will also help the shrimps to show off their true color. Moreover, a single pot of food can feed a decent size of shrimp colony for almost a year. So you should definitely invest in a good shrimp food. For my cherry shrimps, I love to give them aquatic earth sinking pellets. They are extremely good for pregnant shrimps. I have been using this food for over a year now and my shrimps still get crazy over this one. If you want, I can give you another recommendation that is Bacter AE. This is also a great shrimp food. Now I am going to talk about the filtration. I can't stress enough how important plain water is for pregnant shrimps. Many hobbyists don't want to invest in a decent filter for cherry shrimps as they think they won't recur any. This cannot be any more further than the truth. In order to ensure a higher success rate of shrimp plates, you will need to have clean water and for that. A proper filter is a must. For a shrimp tank, you can choose any of the following filters, a sponge filter or a hang on back filter. Sponge filters are decent choice for small to moderate shrimp colony. The good thing about the sponge filter is, it doesn't pose any threat to the shrimp plates. Also, sponge filters don't create any strong current that may prove to be problematic for the shrimps. There are many sponge filters in the market. For my shrimps, I love the one from Poku. I think this one is decently powered to serve my shrimp colony. Now let's talk about the hang on back filter. If you want to take the filtration of the shrimp tank one notch further, go for a hang on back filter. Recently I have used one in one of my larger shrimp tanks and the result I got is amazing. For larger shrimp colonies, a hang on back filter will be more suitable than a sponge filter. Now I am going to talk about the water changes. Whether your cherry shrimps are pregnant or not, you will have to perform regular water changes. By regular, I am not meaning every single day. You should follow a weekly water changing schedule with a 25-30% to 30 water change. This will ensure the environment of the shrimp tank is remaining healthy and the TDS or total dissolved solid level doesn't get too high for the shrimps. Also, don't get too enthusiastic about the water changes. Too often and too much water change can bring adverse effects to the shrimp tank too. And lastly, I am going to talk about stress. One of the main problems for pregnant shrimps is stress. Stress can lead to many serious results including the loss of shrimplets. Too much stress can also lead to the premature death of the shrimps. The most common thing that leads to shrimp stress is bad tank mates. 
I'll always recommend to keep your shrimps in a shrimp only tank. However, if you need to have other tank mates, then do well research beforehand. Most fishes are not compatible with cherry shrimps. Bad tank mates can lead to many problems including stress for the shrimps, eating the shrimplets, etc. Some of the examples of bad tank mates can be any fish that are aggressive such as barbs, mollies, tetra, beta, etc., chicklets, discus, angelfish, and any fish that has large mouth that can gulp the shrimp in a single instance. So these are the factors that I have wanted to talk about, but in my article, I have talked about some more factors like when you should separate the shrimps, reasons for unsuccessful breeding, and what water parameters are required for pregnant cherry shrimps. If you want to learn more about this topic, then I will highly urge you to take a look at my article. I will put the link in the description. And if you like these videos, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future videos. Thank you.